Welcome to the Choose to Lead podcast with your host, Sarit Arbel. In every episode, Sarit and her guests discuss elements of leadership that affect the business owner's potential to achieve wealth and promote social responsibility. A win-win organization starts with good leadership. And now, your host, entrepreneur Sarit Arbel. We have, we have the honor of uh, interviewing Will Graham, uh, who is a leader in almost everything that he does. Uh, he was a principal of uh, multiple schools, right? More than one. Uh, you are holding and you used to hold leadership positions in uh, uh, nonprofits. I met you when you were the president of your BNI chapter. And, uh, you know, you just, uh, have you ever counted how many leadership positions you, you held? Oh, good heavens, uh, no, Sarit, um, but I feel uh, tremendously blessed or privileged to have been um, called uh, by uh, so many of my friends, relatives, even um, different people I don't know, uh, to say, okay, well, you represent us, um, and it's been a blessing. I think probably since I was a kid, and um, maybe in, in, in high school, um, my first teacher, uh, Miss uh, Christie, well, in my eighth grade, I was, what, maybe 13, 14 years old, um, who uh, selected me to be uh, the class leader. And um, she saw something in me that I didn't see myself, and I thought it was pretty powerful. So, yeah, it's been a while. But at what time, so at what time did, you, did you accept the fact that you are a leader? I mean, you were surprised at the age of 14, but uh, at what age you, you looked at yourself and you said, oh, okay, I'm okay with this understanding that I'm a leader? You know, I, I um, sometimes I have to pinch myself, um, sorry, to, to, to be truthful to that question, because I, um, uh, you know, the, the times I, I'm in the mode of leadership, I wonder how I got there. Um, and I suddenly look around, I'm like, why not somebody else? So in that respect, I feel kind of like Moses. Uh, why send me? You know, but you're called and um, you rise to the moment. Um, so I, I feel like the direct answer to your question, it's kind of at different levels. Um, so at various moments of my life, I'm fully aware of when the moment presents itself. Um, for instance, when you asked me to be a support to different chapters um, in BNI, I'm like, why me? Um, and the moment came and it's okay to dig in and find that reserve the affirmation that someone else from the outside sees in you that is uh, to be used to, uh, to help the community. So it, and so that rises to a different level for me, um, which is uh, different from, say, my current experience as a, as a business person or a more community involved um, than when I was in education, for instance. It was an, it was an appointment. It was um, a specific task to be fulfilled, I won the interviews and everything else. Um, so that was a little bit different. And again, of course, I stepped up to, um, to the various uh, aspects of leadership in that respect. So it's ongoing. So obviously you're talking about something of an energy because everywhere you go, you are being asked, uh, even without really being aware of the fact that this, you know, this was something that you wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so what do you think makes, makes somebody a leader? I mean, you don't necessarily have to speak about yourself, but from my perspective, my goal is that when somebody is listening um, to, to this, they will understand that maybe they can, be, they can become leaders themselves. What makes somebody a leader? Uh, you know, it, it, it's certain qualities, and I think, I think of it in these terms. I think probably three comes to mind. The first one is the ability to, uh, to listen. Um, and it's a, it's a different listening from just having words and sounds to your ears, but it's, and, and even um, listening with the heart. It's a, it's a being connected with the moment, um, being connected with the individuals who are around you and with the forces that are around you. I, I really do believe that the universe sort of um, energizes us in a certain respect to, um, uh, to, to understand our place in the moment. So I'm ruefully aware of my time and my place in the moment by listening. Um, the other um, aspect of uh, leadership that I think is critical is the ability to, um, uh, to, to be, 
And um, I think it was Martin Luther was one of my role models, naturally, who says, uh, be the change. Uh, um, Mahatma Gandhi also said it, be the change you want to, you, you expect in the world. Um, and uh, many of my leaders, Golden Meir is one of them as well, who sort of says the same thing. Um, when the moment presents itself, you rise out of something, um, you find something bigger um, and you respect and you respond to the moment. Um, so uh, the ability to be, um, the, to, to be the change. And the uh, third is what my, um, uh, Mrs. Douglas, my, uh, my teacher in, in, in high school, uh, said to be, uh, to be a role model. Um, so there's, a, there's an element of symbolism in, in a leader. Um, people look to leaders for guidance. They look for, to leaders for stability. Uh, they look to leaders for confidence. And if you're exuding that, um, then the, the, something happens. Um, uh, you know, the task or the operation or the, the whatever moves forward. If it doesn't, happens, then it's in chaos, it's in stasis. And when things are chaotic, um, people are nervous, um, you know, the wheels fly off the wagon, so to speak, and nothing happens. Um, so those are the three uh, elements or qualities I think are really critical to being a good leader. That's very impressive what you have just shared with us. And to me, I, I want to talk a little bit mostly about the third component of uh, uh, building confidence in people. And, um, you know, being a leader myself, a leader of an organization, a leader of my business, a leader in my family, I often think about it because, because we don't always have the full answer. And at the same time, people look at us to give, give them some kind of answer and some kind of peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And I believe that being, being a leader in that respect is not, necessarily, um, is not necessarily having the answer, but being confident that the answer will present itself. And also, also being able to share with others that everything is going to be all right, even if, it's, even if we don't have the answer. Do you agree? Yeah, you know, I'm so I'm so glad you said that because um, I think about our relationship, you and I, um, and I, I admire you. And one of the skills I admire in you is your ability to say, you know what, well, no matter what it is, it's going to be okay. In the midst of the torrent or turmoil, it's not providing an answer like this is what you should do or here's where we should go, even though that might be implicit, right? But there's a sense that I... You, you, there's a there's a sense of confidence that the answer is here if you sit still enough and allow it to manifest itself, right? And I think that's what good leaders do: allow the moment to teach, allow the moment to um, to inform, allow the moment to guide. Because the truth of the matter is, uh, Sarita, you touched on it a little bit. Um, the answers are around us, right? Nobody wants somebody to, to, you don't want to be lectured as an adult. You don't want to be told constantly, here's your check the box. You know, you know, some folks like to do that, but that's really not what we want at our heart. You know, in, in, in our, when, we, when we're prompted to move, it's, it's, it's when somebody can calm us and say, okay, you have it, move forward, take the next step and confidently do it. Yeah, so yeah, the sense of confidence is critical, I think. I agree. I, I, I think you said it beautifully. And uh, indeed, uh, nobody likes to be told. People like, like to be enrolled into taking, taking action. And that's something that I strongly believe in. And uh, uh, as leaders, our role is to show them the way and say, okay, this is the way, but you can choose how you want to take it. You can uh, bike it, you can take a train, you can, you know, uh, you can crawl, you can jump, you, you, can, you have a choice how to do it, but generally speaking, this is the direction we want to go together. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Uh, Will, tell us a little bit about, uh, about your profession, about what you do, um, about, uh, about your contribution. I know that there is a very big nonprofit uh, project that you're part of that, that you know, if you want to share with us. 
Sure. So um, I, I'm, I'm energized by people. I'm energized by movements. Um, I started, um, interesting enough, uh, in, in my earlier life as a seminarian, as you know, in the priesthood. And so there was a, a sense of um, fidelity to being, um, just a sense of being called and leading uh, that way as a very early age. And it morphed into being an educator. Um, again, being with um, being with kids and people, and um, and now I'm in the, uh, what I call the third iteration of Will is in the um, the business um, community nonprofit sphere. Um, I am working with uh, a wonderful organization that is uh, that is is bent on helping communities find their purpose and uh, building, connecting resources and um, uh, you know. Um, energies and talents uh, to, to, to grow uh, organically uh, within the community. And it's an exciting moment because it's putting people in touch with resources and most importantly, putting people in touch with talents within themselves, right? Um, that came out of my experience as a business owner. Um, I studied, launched, uh, four years ago, launched a, a, a for-profit business after being in education. Um, and got some really good, uh, important lessons from that experience. It's morphed and it's morphing into uh, something a little bit more independent from a franchise to now independently own. And I'm also taking on the uh, community uh, aspect. I'm heavily involved. I continue to keep my fingers and my nose in education. So I work very closely with uh, Frederick Community College on their board in helping to uh, raise funds and uh, provide uh, support for students. Um, I'm closely aligned with the, um, the, the Chamber of Commerce and also with the, the uh, City of Frederick um, supporting minority businesses, uh, which feels to me to be a tremendous passion um, because, and it's not because it's a popular thing, um, it's just the reality. As a small business owner, we, I face so many challenges, one in, in, in uh, securing uh, funding, uh, securing property, and finally getting into a market that is often um, uneven. And I count myself as being tremendously privileged because I, I don't have to worry so much because I know I have the talent, I have access, um, but there are a lot of folks who I've met along the way who don't. We were talking about your business and, uh, and the, the realization of the challenges that you have experienced and how it impacted your will to or and your interest in helping others and helping them uh stay on track with without the many challenges that you were experiencing I, which i think is beautiful and also it shows uh, it shows leadership actually because you came across a problem and you immediately found a way to uh to help others with a solution and i and that's a leader Yes, I, I appreciate that uh, a great deal, Sari. Um, and I feel, you know, uh, sometimes you feel something in your bones. I feel it in my heart uh, that this is where I need to be at this moment, um, helping uh, as, as I try to, you know, amass wealth, certainly, but uh, more importantly, to, um, to help those who uh, need my experience, need my support, I need my energy um, to, to, to take on the bigger tasks. So um, I, I, again, I go back to just a place of feeling blessed that I'm here at this moment um, on this side of life's experience. And I want the universe to, uh, to, to, to use me in, in, in those ways. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very accurate. Uh, I, I feel, I you know, you and I are very similar in that way, I feel, uh, a sense of purpose, really helping people grow their businesses and give them tools to be more successful. And um, and um, I I believe that the fact that uh, you you came up with a solution to a problem that you were experiencing is what what shows you know what's what's in you because uh, I absolutely believe that if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Yeah. And uh, leaders are the ones who come with solutions. And uh, I know a lot of people who have problems to every solution. So it's much, I much prefer the company of people who have a solution to every problem and not the other way around. That's right. 
Yeah, you're right. And I, I, you know, uh, what, what, what I feel at this moment in my life is a, a profound and a sense of creativity and a vastness that, I've, again, I said to you before that I think at each level of life's experience, it's like a new, uh, a new zenith of um of, of uh, leadership right so there's an energy and a creativity that i'm like where on god's earth is this coming from you know um but uh, and i'm happy and there, 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 there are times when i when i'm engaging with um a, you know business person or a client and they're feeling really overwhelmed or bewildered and we spend about 15 20 minutes and just um, sort of, just sort of, just just be there for a minute, and they walk away with uh, pages of ideas and uh, practical solutions or directions or leads um, that that we can take later on and sort of okay, let's prioritize them because you can't do them all at once, right? And we can sort of begin doing that, and that's energizing. That's uh, that's life giving for me, and I love doing that. Um, I love to see people finding their purpose, like you. Um, uh, and you've done, you've done, you, you, you have an ability to, um, sorry, and I'm glad our paths cross, uh, you know, in, in, in reaching in and pulling that, um, that, uh, that je ne sais quoi, that's something that we don't know we have out of people. And, um, it's, it, it, one's not afraid, um, uh, one's not, um, intimidated, but really feeling challenged and supported. Um, which is again, it's another. Um, I guess it's another area of the, or an aspect of, um, of of a good leader. Um, you know, you're you're challenging and you're energizing and you're moving the conversation forward, but you're not disturbing the energy field. Um, you're not disturbing the flow. You know. So. Thank you very much for saying that. Uh, the truth is that uh, somebody did it to me years ago. I. Uh, I was sitting in a personal growth seminar in the basic seminar, you, you, PSI seminar, you're familiar with that. Uh, and uh, I, it wasn't, I, I've already taken it and I started to volunteer in it because I got so much value from it. So the volunteers sit in the back <clears throat> and I don't recall exactly what situation, you know, was pre presented to us at the moment, but, um, uh, Someone who is, was sitting next to me, I, I remember exactly where we sat in the room. I get the goosebumps talking about it, but she said to me, uh, you know, the world is missing out because you are playing small. And I, I, you know, I did not see the leader in me at that point. I, it was a very low point in my life. And I looked at her and, and I, it, you know, it felt like a total BS, truly. Uh, I, I, she was, to me, it was like, she was just saying it because she's attempting to be nice. And I'm sure because you know me in my role, you know, in my leadership role, I, I believe it may be difficult for you to see me that way. But, but to me, that was a turning point because, um, I, I really wanted to believe it, but, but I was not seeing it in myself. So for people like you that have always been looked at as leaders, I, I think sometimes it's it's difficult to see to see where I was, but this this uh, is what made me very passionate about doing it to others to be able to to pull this out of them. And I'm I'm sure as principal, you've done it many many times with kids. You know, you were seeing kids who are maybe shy and and maybe not outspoken and loud like others, but you saw that they were the true leaders, and you wanted to help them lead and and I feel that everyone was born with a with a with an ability to lead but something you know with their life experiences them yeah. uh, stop them from really doing it so the purpose of this whole podcast is to to enable people who are listening to it to believe that they are also capable of being leaders yeah, you know, I, I agree with you. I couldn't agree with you more, uh, Sari, that I think there's a leader within each of us, right? And and what you've identified about the moment you were sitting in that seminar and um, you became awoken or um, uh, I, I like to uh, inspire um, as to your purpose in that moment. And I, 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 I saw that in my 
in, in my my 14 year old experience when my when my teacher said will graham you are called um and i i, I you're right i thought at, mo at, at, at you know, some point that that too was bs and not in, not as eloquently as you put it um but my oh no not me uh who am i i know nothing about whatever um and um it, it was the right thing and um you know, she continues uh, continued to be a, a very important part of my life. Pulling every every so often, I got a little bit rusty and um, unsure, and I'd pick up the phone or I'd send her a letter, and we talk. And she's like, "No, no, no! You've got to dig deeper, right? You've got to stay the course. You've got to do more." Um, I see that in you, um, as our uh, uh, as surely as a friend and a, as as an area director, um, you know, as as the CEO of um, BNI. Um, but more, uh, I see more like, it's like a Sherpa, right? And, and you're that, you're, you're that guy. And it's an ever-flowing font uh, of, um, of, 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 of gratitude, of giving, um, because you always say to somebody, you know, no, no you, can, you can do it, you can, and there's more. Um, and there's always more at the table, right? Which is another part of uh, leadership, pointing to what's out there, right? Um, and so it gives the, the sense of it, the internal confidence each person has to, uh, to, to get up and do their part. Um, so I hope this uh, podcast reach, uh, reaches, uh, you, know, you know, many people and they find their purpose and they're able to, um, to, 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 to become inspired, to become awake of the leadership within them. Yeah. I couldn't summarize our... Uh our podcast better than, than you just did. Uh, let us hope people uh, do listen and do get inspired to be the leader that's already in them. Thank you so much, Will, for speaking with us today. You're welcome. Thank you.